What's up everybody? This is Mr. Eternity One and welcome to my tutorial on setting up the PlayStation 2 emulator PCSX2. So in the description box I have a link to all the files I'll be using in this tutorial. I want you to click on that link and go to PCSX2.rar. Go ahead and download this to your desktop. It should take a couple of seconds to minutes uh, to download it there. And once there, go ahead and extract all the files uh, or extract the folder uh, PCSX2 to your desktop. So you're not going to see me do that because I already have PCSX2 on my desktop. And once you have done that, go ahead and click and open it. And scroll down and you'll see PC PCSX2 0.9.6.exe go ahead and open that and it'll say could not load GS plugin yada 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 press OK now what you'll notice here is that your BIOS and your plugins are all empty so what you need to do is find the or uh, not find but uh, set up the plugins directory and you'll do that by uh, finding the folder where PCSX2 is located. Mine is in desktop, so I will go down and PCSX2. This is plugins, so scroll down to plugins, press OK. You'll do the exact same thing for the BIOS. What you'll notice is that uh, everything will load once the directory is set up. Go down the directory on Windows XP sucks by the way. And keep scrolling, BIOS, press OK. And you'll have options to, you know, different plugins. The ones that are set are the best ones at this point in time. So press OK. And you are finished setting up PCSX2 and my next part I'll show you how to play alright as for games one of the common questions when people have the PlayStation 2 emulator is where can I get my games how can I play my game well first of all the uh, first way and the most popular way to actually obtain games is to download it from websites such as emu paradise and ps3iso.com and what you'll do is just go to the website, find their section where they have the uh, ISOs located, and download them. Well, what will happen, though, sometimes is that the files, since they're pretty big files, sometimes get 2 gigabytes, 3 gigabytes. What will happen is that they have to compress the files. So you'll need programs like Magic ISO and ECM100 to un uncompress them or unpack them so that you can get the ISO file. Now, that is the first way you can do it. The second way you can do this is if you actually up, uh, have the game at your house, and what you'll do is just basically put the CD into your uh, CD-ROM part of your computer and open this program, which I have in the, uh, the, as one of the download links, and you just simply press Create uh, ISO, and it'll turn the uh, DVD into an ISO. So that is the second way you can do All it. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, just ask away in the comment box. All the links to the websites and to the downloads or programs is also in the comment box. So be sure to check that out. 